we're going to locate a sond that's actually underground, the same way we did when we could see it. We'll put a Prototech FV10 inside a spring carrier and screw it onto the end of our quarter inch fiberglass rod. In this case, we've got a nice clean out to get access to the line. We'll push it into the line a few feet and do our initial locate while we have a good known place to start. We're looking for the strongest signal on our peak screen and home in on it and mark it. This is the general area or peak spot of where the sonde is. Then we switch to the crossing screen and do the walk around in a circle with the peak spot at the center of it and look for the crossing knoll. Here is one, the pipe image shows up, the light goes on and the handle vibrates. Zero in and mark it. Then continue on your circle walk until you see another one. Mark this also. As you can see, we've just established a line between the two crossing knoll marks, and it runs right through our peak spot. Now we'll switch to the sawn screen and walk along this line toward the peak spot. Here comes the sawned image. When it is a clear, solid image and the handle vibrates, you are right over the sawn and you can mark it with confidence. Whenever you have located the sawn position like this, the line finder is also able to tell you its depth. Put the foot of the line finder on the ground at the sawn position and click once more to the right. The depth will read out in feet or meters depending on how you have it set in the menu. In this case, it's two feet, eight inches deep. Now that you've established the current location of the sonde, push it further down the line and locate its new position. Use the same steps to find the peak spot. Then walk the circle to find the crossing knolls and walk the line to find the sonde. <laughs>